Women with polycystic ovarian syndrome have abnormalities in their metabolism of androgens and estrogen. Symptoms of polycystic ovarian syndrome include abnormal uh, menstrual bleeding. It can either be something called oligomenorrhea, where patients uh, within a 12-month span may only have nine periods or less, so essentially their periods don't come as often or it could be something called dysfunctional uterine bleeding, where it could be your menstruation is heavy or light or uh, irregular and sporadic and often unpredictable. And also uh, PCOS patients have something called hirsutism, where they could have excessive hair in areas where male patterns are, is very common, as well as acne. Another symptom of polycystic ovarian syndrome is infertility. Surgeries that could potentially cause polycystic ovarian syndrome would be a surgery of the pituitary gland, such as a pituitary adenoma. So risk factors for polycystic ovarian syndrome include a family history as well as estrogen predominance. Some studies uh, allude to uh, lifestyle such as high stress, potentially predisposing patients to polycystic ovarian syndrome. So polycystic ovarian syndrome was diagnosed by a, a full history and exam, um, as well as basic lab tests. And in addition, patients uh, undergo a ultrasound of their ovaries preferably a transvaginal ovarian ultrasound. And the combination of those are clinical evidence for polycystic ovarian syndrome. For second line treatment, there are pharmacotherapy options, including oral birth control, uh, hypoglycemic agents, anti-androgen medications are an option. Um, and sometimes for patients with infertility, fertility medications are an option as well. For surgical options for polycystic ovarian syndrome, the goal is to restore ovulation, particularly for patients with infertility. For more information on pelvic pain conditions and treatments, visit our website at pelvicrehabilitation.com.